of us were alarmed last night to guns going off in this very community. Uh, not far from where some of our family members live, not far from where we do our community work. Only to find out. But there is serious concern about guns going off in our community. And the lack of respect that anybody would have knowing that there were police officers standing on this corner. If in fact that those officers were hit, it would have sent off a serious, serious bad message in our community based on what has happened in Dallas, Texas, and Baton Rouge that we're not going to tolerate. We're New Yorkers. We're better than this. We're better than any situation out here where we can't sit down and talk to our representatives and talk to those in our, in our community who represent us. We stand with these police officers day in and day night. We respect the work that they do. Some of them are our uncles, our brothers, our sisters, and our cousins. Some of them are our family members. And we can't stand to fathom the thought that to combine a gun shoot, a fight, with individuals that have had beef on this corner to shoot haphazardly at them, and knowing that they're standing there doing their job sends all the wrong messages. This could have went wrong in so many different ways last night. But we're happy to stand here united as community leaders. We have the bishop, uh, the bishop from some of our big churches here. We also are standing here on behalf of a lot of our um, community leaders who are actually don't want to stand here because of the violence and are afraid of backlash. So we're standing here in Steve for them. We're saying that enough is enough with this gun violence. At the end of the day, we're not going to tolerate anybody shooting in our community or even shooting at our police officers. I want to bring forward um, Bishop Seabrooks, one of our leaders and um, the head of one of the biggest churches here in Brooklyn. Uh, good morning. Uh, first, we like to say that we are in support of the police department. We're asking this community to go back to basic respect and courtesy. We understand that there's a bank problem. Uh, we want to down to go to guess what? Mosque, synagogue, the church. We sit down with some of the leaders and just talk about the bank. Let's talk about the issues that we have. But in no way can we continue the disrespect for law enforcement and for the community itself. So we stand here together to let the police department know that we don't want a copycat syndrome that we saw around this country. Uh, we will denounce it. We will come against it, and it's time for this community to rise up against the violence that's here. Part of it is an anger issue. We recognize that, okay? That's why you have a lot of bullying. That's why you have a lot of gangs, because of the anger. But we're willing now to sit down and address those issues and say enough is enough. It's time now that we sit down and dialogue about our problems instead of all of the gun violence in our community. Like I said, we're joined by a number of our community leaders. Uh, I want to mention a few, Bishop Seabrooks, uh, uh, Mitchell Mike, um, Bishop uh, Phillips, and his CRT team. Uh, and again, this doesn't speak directly to the culmination of this entire community. There's a lot of great people that live in this community here in the Flatbush area. But I want to say this, and I want to be very clear about it. We will not tolerate guns going off in our community, whether it be at an individual or whether it be at a police officer. At the end of the day, we have to stand united, and you heard this I'm saying, that without police officers on the street, there will be mayhem. We can't afford that here in New York City. We can't afford to be putting people's lives in jeopardy. And those guns that went off last night, or that gun, or whatever it was, they could have been anybody walking down that street. A mom coming home from work, a young child coming home from school or play or whatever. We cannot, and we will not, tolerate people pulling guns in our community. You will go to jail. And I want to say this to our elected leaders out here. We shouldn't be standing here by ourselves. You should have been ahead of this, way ahead of the game. A message was sent clearly before that we have to be proactive, not reactive. We're New Yorkers. We do it better than everybody else. So we should do better and expect better from our residents here in this city. We don't have any more basic respect. Our funeral possession goes past. People cut the cars off. We have to go back to this basic thing of courtesy and respect. When you disrespect your dead, you're going you're gonna to see these problems take place. Then the abuse with the seniors, the abuse with, guess what, with children, enough is enough. We've got to deal with this issue of anger and deal with it. That's what it's constructed for. So the churches are ready to stand with you sit down and deal with it. It's like that. Uh, allegedly, some police officers might have been shot at. My first concern was the safety of the police officers and whether that was any of my family. Secondarily, Out here doing the, the right.
running man challenge that you see enjoying themselves that want to come home or come to work and hurt people. It's about working together. And you know, let me just be very clear. Yes, there are bad seeds in the police department. There's bad preachers, bad teachers. But when it's all said and done, yes, we all want a mutual respect, and we have to command that. But we're not going to get it by get, uh, creating violence, because violence only begets violence. And that's not going to help us get anywhere. You know, young black males in our community should be able to stand up and be proud about who they are, not be harassed. Yes, but that lays into individual police officers, not the entire police force. So we can't indict a whole police force over the stupidity of the ignorance of a few. Just like we can't indict a whole bunch of black men who are walking in our community calling them drug dealers and thugs because they're not. So we have a mutual respect that we have to get to, and we have to get there quickly, or more lives are going to be lost behind this stupidity. Protests mean that you can't do your job. So if you can't do your job, get out of office. Because you're supposed to be fair-minded and get out here and talk to the people that you represent so that we can get to a point that we can dialogue and save the lives and help black males to understand that they are respected in our community. Any idea what the motive behind this shooting could have been? There's a problem on this corner here. There's a lot of issues with regard to violence going back and forth. And we have to deal with that. And the community has to step up. Because when those guns go off, it's not the police officers that's going to wind up getting hit. It's going to be us getting hit. It's going to be our kids getting hit. So we've got to stop that madness, too.